Welcome to day 29 of 30 apps in 30 days, the penultimate build of the challenge. Pumped about today's build, we're going to be using 11 labs again for voice AI. I think they're great for these types of builds, so let's jump into the video. But before we jump into the rest of the video, I've got a special announcement. I'm super pumped to be collaborating with Pat Walls from Starter Story on the AI Builder Bootcamp. When I started 30 apps in 30 days, I heard from a lot of people that they wanted to do something similar. So we've been working super hard behind the scenes to put together something sweet. So if you're like me and you're building demo, with different tools you're jumping around you might build something up you're excited about but then you lose interest and jump onto the next shiny thing that was me that's why i did 30 apps in 30 days and that's why you should join four apps in four weeks because by the end of the cohort you're going to have more apps shipped than maybe you've ever shipped before and as i say in my video shipping is always rewarded putting things out there getting the wheels spinning getting momentum and confidence are super valuable as a builder and by having those skills to get something out quickly, you can then start selling, you can start marketing, you can launch a product hunt, you can speak to users about it, get feedback and really start to build something up. We're launching in a couple of weeks and start a story of giving me a discount to share with you guys that gives you $150 off. So link is in the description, go and check it out. This isn't a tutorial on how to build apps with Lovable or Cursor. There's loads of stuff out there for that and I have that on my own channel. This is about committing to the build, pushing through doubt, giving ourselves a timeline, keeping things simple and moving forward. We're gonna be using the best stack I've found to build and ship quickly. We're gonna be using all the new AI tech that's coming out. So I can't wait to kick this off and it would be awesome to see you guys there. But let's get on with the rest of the video. So this late into the project, we're not gonna reinvent the wheel. We built an 11 Labs project a couple days ago, so we're gonna clone that and then repurpose the tech. Like I always say in these videos, if you can clone either an existing project you've done or an open source project, you may as well do that. There's no bonus points here for doing a complicated setup every time. So yeah, like I said, we had this sales trainer AI. So if I say we're selling vibe coding training, we can start a training call and that's gonna connect us to a sales Let's training agent. Let's jump straight into the sales role play. Ready, go. Hey, how are you doing? Are you ready to buy my $5,000 sales vibe code training? I'm doing all right. $5,000 for sales training, huh? That's a pretty penny. I'm not sure if we have the budget for that right now. So that's what we got there. So what we're going to do is come to GitHub and we're going to clone this repo. So let's take this here and we can make a new project. Okay, so we've got this sales trainer app now running locally in a new project, which means we can then take the existing tech we got and build on top of it, which does make our life a bit easier on day 29. It feels a bit cheeky, but we've got to do what we've got to do. So let's map out how this app is going to work. So what are we building today? We're building an army of user research agents. I know that sounds a bit crazy, but hear me out. Here is the old way of doing user research. <laughs> Here's me working as a product manager at my old job doing user research. It's tough out there. It's very important to do, but it is tough. Here's how it usually goes. You find out what users to speak to. You do outreach to a bunch of them. You say, if you speak to us, Give us some feedback, we'll offer you money. Usually you pay them $20 or something. You book calls, your calendar fills up, it breaks up your day, it breaks up your flow, whatever. Then you jump on a call, the user doesn't show up, which is a bit annoying, but it happens a bunch. Waste of time, you jump onto the next one. You get a bit of average feedback, you kind of wonder, did they just want a bit of cash? So at the end of the week, maybe you end up with three to five half decent user interviews. Don't get me wrong, they're still super insightful, but here is the better way of doing things in this new wonderful world. So first of all, you can email a recruiting app, but here's the thing, the user can open the link instantly. Then they can talk or chat to the user research agent to give feedback and the AI will be prompted to get key insights. So sometimes in these user calls, you know, the conversation can veer off into some crazy stuff. This is just going to keep things focused. It will try and get key insights. It will dig into certain topics that you want it to. And all insights will then be categorized for easy analysis. It's easy for the user. They can give feedback there and then. It's easy for you because you can sit back and watch feedback come in. And you, know, you can speak to 100 times more users. And the beauty of it is you could keep your focus. Your calendar doesn't get scattered full of calls. You don't get people wasting your time. Everyone's a winner. That's the aim for today. I think this is a cool one. So let's see where we can get to. We don't have too much time for the build, but hopefully with our setup, we can get things moving. What's going on? It is nearly 10 p.m. Hopefully this is the last night shift. We've got an non-alcoholic beer. Uh, it's time to do some cooking. It's time to do a bit of a speed build. I'm pumped for tomorrow's video, by the way. It's going to be a good one. But for tomorrow's video, we need to make sure we get it up way before evening because we're going to start the sales process during the day. So make sure you stay. But anyway, let's get into the build. Okay, so here we are with our cursor. Our cursor sub actually just expired, so we're all back on it now. Let's check this is all working. 
Should be good, should be good, should be good. Okay, yes, please, yes. There we go. Okay, so like we had before, our sales training at AI template. And first of all, actually, let's install Shadzia and MCP. That actually does make life a lot easier. I actually found out in yesterday's build with Julian why we kept having issues with this MCP. And it's because we run Claude on dangerously skip permission that doesn't allow it to set up the MCP. So now if we just do Claude normally, it will say, we got an MCP. Do you want to use it? Should do anyway. There we go. So that... If you're struggling is how to fix it. So now let's close out and skip and run the server again. <laughs> okay, so we have a bit of a chunky prompt here. Let me zoom in. This is not prompting best practices, but you know what? We're, just, we're gonna try and grind through and hopefully it gets us in a pretty good place. So we've got a late night build here. Let's have some fun. I'm tailoring this app to be a user research agent. The idea is that a founder or product manager can come on and set up a new research agent this will be a preset context prompt that we pass into 11 labs we're saying in the same way we're currently passing what we're selling so we're actually reusing the project and also hopefully passing that context to claude to reuse components or parts of it so it should be ideally the user can create a new link they can send someone then access the conversation without auth the main user should be able to see a list of their campaigns maybe it should be a new research agent slash campaign when they click into a campaign, they should be able to see the individual calls and be able to see the conversation history from each one if they expand it or click in. In the same way we do OpenAI analysis for the sales report, we should also do a summary of each call using OpenAI so they can see at a glance what the call was about. This is chunky, so please plan an approach to all this, making sure we reuse what we have and stick into convex rules. So I'm going to actually use a plan mode here. So command shift plan, which I haven't actually been doing too much, but it's going to use Opus to plan the attack and then we can get it to self critique and I think if you're doing big chunky prompts like this it is good to do that so we'll get back in a second once we've got our plan okay so you can see here it gave us a plan here and then I basically said are you happy with this plan give it once over self critique make it simpler to execute whilst powerful and it basically reviewed it and said you know what you're right Alex let's make it simpler just three core changes and then I said about what we want to pass to 11 abs and it's chugging away now. So we'll check back very shortly to see how it got on. Meanwhile, we will head over to 11 abs to get our new agent set up. And we can actually see we've had seven calls today, which is interesting. I like their uh, agent analytics. Okay, so we'll create a new agent here and we'll call it we'll start blank agent, user research agent, chat only. Now we'll do both system prompt. You are a user research agent, doing user research calls, digging to find insight. And we'll use their little generative AI prompt, which is pretty sweet. Personality, you are a user research agent named Remy, skilled at conducting user research. Tone. That's cool, actually, that they've got some suggestions that we can do, like tool calling for notes during the call. We're not going to do that just yet. We'll just keep it simple, just take the transcript and do an analysis after for now. But it's nice to know that with these agents, we can take notes and do all that stuff. Hats off to 11 Labs there, doing some great work. Hey there, thanks for jumping. So still chugging away with the convex stuff, but for now that looks pretty good. We'll add in the variables in a second. Let's save that for now and test the AI agent. Let me just make sure OBS is recording audio. Yep, it is. Oh. And actually, let me make it so you are conducting a user research. Let's do product. So we want to find out how people's experiences with the Cursor Salon. Did they like their haircut? How was the UX? And what else? Did they like the spin round feature? If you haven't watched the Cursor Salon vlog, go and have a look at the Cursor Hackathon vlog. It was a fun one and I thought that product was pretty sick. So let's pretend that we are trying to do a bit of user research for that now. So let's test this. Hey Microphone. there. Thanks for jumping on this user research session. How's it going? Let's go, man. Thanks for asking. Awesome. I'm glad to hear it. So, I'm Remy, and I'm here to learn about your experience with Cursor Salon. To start, could you tell me a bit about your overall impression of Cursor Salon? Did anything stand out to you, either positively or negatively? It was good, but it gave me a bit of a dead trim. Thanks for sharing that. It's good to know it was generally positive, but I'm sorry to hear about the dead trim. <laughs> so, it's doing a good job of digging in, but anyway, let's end that and have a look what we got here. So, we got our agent set up. We're just setting up the website and our website obviously connects with this agent and we integrate it and it obviously gets saved to convex as well. So campaign management. So let's actually come over here. 
doesn't look like it's running maybe we will get a bit of an error restart server question mark seems to work okay so let's check out localhost 3001 okay here we go user research ai research campaigns create and manage your user research projects okay before we start tell me what dynamic variables pass into 11 labs then i'll give you the new agent id and what i like to do is test the variables in the first prompt just so i can make sure that we're linked up there so it's part got quite a few different things here so i said let's just keep it a bit simpler for now so should refine that and then i can get that set up so let me get back once we've got that set up okay so what we've done here is we've passed in research topic research context company product and then we've done that in the first message as well so let's check out here and let's try and create a campaign we've passed in the 11 labs id which is this here so let's create our first campaign and there we have a lovely error so let's paste that in and as we do we're approaching 11 p.m but feeling pretty cool calm and collected so we should be all right okay here we are their new research campaign name let's do cursor salon feedback how are people's haircut make this campaign public generate shareable link yes uh, that doesn't seem to be working maybe because we're still cooking here cursor salon maybe we haven't updated everything here i don't know if we need all these fields but let's give it a spin let's create campaign okay so we've got how about people's haircut this is really cool so we've got link and we can actually test it ourselves, and it should so it's got sessions here so let's start a training call here just to test it cursor salon feedback hey there thanks for jumping on this user okay you can see straight away we've got the variable passed in so that's working fine we've also got this here and the transcript isn't working as such but let's test this link out and it looks like the session here maybe is not working we've got a 404 also also when i click view transcript please fix but cool so let's fix that and try again but we're in a pretty good place did a pretty good job with that prompt and planning oh so yeah see you back in a sec thanks for jumping on this user research session how's it going Good, I've just tested out this public link just to see if it's all working. Does it seem all right? Great to hear that you're doing well. Yes, everything seems to be working perfectly on my end. Cool, I so if I end this call here as a user coming, then it's going to analyze it here. So let's see if we got the AI analysis working. Do we actually have the AI analysis running? Let's just check if we've got OpenAI set up here. Yeah, we do. Anyway, okay, so if I shut that off as a then I've got this one here, so I can view transcript. So I can actually come in here, view transcript. That's pretty cool. So this is where we want to see the analysis, right? But this is really sweet, actually. To be fair, what's going on here? So we broke something. All good, all good in the hood. Okay, so now let's test it again. Hopefully the last test here. So we got a new research here. So as we come as a user, we'll start this training call. Cursor salon feedback. Hey. Thanks for jumping on this user Yeah, we'll wait a sec. Yeah, good, man. The haircut was really good. That's all I've got to say pretty much. Really happy with it. That's great to hear. We'll end that call and there we go. We're done. So maybe once a user clicks and call, give a success and thank you message. But then as we come back to our main user, there we go. We've got three sessions now. So we've got a new one. And what's also a nice touch is we've got this public link here that will just open the link and then they can just send that off. Um, so view details, let's go. Here we go. We've got our AI summary. Very nice. The participant is highly satisfied with the haircut of Curse Salon. Um, so then we can view this transcript and it's got insights here, key takeaways and a summary. Tell you what, pretty happy with that. Super useful. This has legs. I like it a lot. So we'll get that deployed now and then wrap up the video. Okay, we've got about 11 minutes <laughs> before the deadline. For some reason, even though I've done this 30 times, I, I did something wrong in deployment, so nearly got caught off guard there. I'll come back with a proper demo in the morning. I built an army of user research agents that can go and speak to all your customers, get feedback and analyze it. So all you have to do is set up the campaign. Let's be honest, the old way of doing user research is long. You've got to go and find users to speak to, offer them money, book calls, break up your flow, your focus. Users don't show up. It's a waste of time and maybe you end with a bit of feedback, but this is the better world. I'm selling you on the better world. You email recruiting app, users get sent a link and they can instantly jump on a call or chat to give feedback. 
Everything's analyzed by an LLM whilst you keep your focus on building the actual product. So let me show you how, let's create a first campaign. So campaign name, cursor, sell and feedback, description, how do people's haircut go? And we can make this campaign public, which is gonna generate a shareable link that we could just send to users. What do we wanna learn? Did they enjoy the dreadlocks? Was the salon experience good? Company versus salon. And then we've got an agent ID there. We don't need to worry about that. So it's gonna create that. So now we've got this public research link that we can literally just send to our users. So let's open it up and give a spin. Hey there, I'd love to learn a bit about your recent experience at Cursor Salon. Did you enjoy the dreadlocks you got? And overall, how was your salon experience? My dreadlocks were sweet, but the salon itself could have had some better vibe. I appreciate you sharing that. It's great to hear you like the dreadlocks. Could you tell me more about what you mean by the salon having not so great vibes? What specifically could have been better? The coffee was a little bit average. Thanks for the feedback. Besides the coffee, was there anything else that contributed so to the... See, you can see how the agent there is prompted to actually dig in, find out a bit more information, and you can give more details. And if you're interested in about any specific area of your product or business, you can give that when setting up your campaign and the agent will go and find out all the juicy stuff you need. And as you can see here, we've got our research campaign, so we can go on view details here. And we've got our research session, so we can view the transcript here. And what's cool is we've got our AI analysis, key takeaways, insights, my dreadlocks were sweet, but the salon itself was a little bit. Yeah, that is exactly what I thought. And we've got the transcript here as well. I think this is sweet. Let's be honest, user research takes a bunch of time. That's why you're not doing it. If AI research is good enough for companies like Claude, then why aren't you using it? Give it a spin. It's live on prod. So that's our demo. We'll ship that off to Twitter. But yeah, I just finished filming tomorrow's video. It's definitely a good one. You don't want to miss it. So be sure to check that out. Until then, all the best.